Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Essence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about my top 10 favorite Navitus Parfum fragrances for the colder weather, specifically the autumn, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin this video of my top 10 favorite Navitus Parfum fragrances for the autumn, or at least the ones that I enjoy wearing and that I can see myself wearing now as the weather is starting to get a little bit colder outside, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. I also want to mention that I recently came out with three of my own fragrances with Navitus Parfum and it's been a very long time since I released any fragrances with the brand going back to like February of 2020. The three brand new ones are called Away, Imperial, and Emblaze. Away is a super long lasting citrus and coconut scent that was composed by Jorge Lee, an amazing fresh compliment getting office type of a scent. If you like aquatics, I definitely recommend you check it out. The second one is made by Francis Kirkjohn. It's called Imperial. It's this beautiful orange and chocolate combination with Venezuelan tonka bean, absolutely delicious. And the third one is Emblaze, made by Lucas Suzak, who also happens to be the perfumer for Reflection for Men by Amouage. That fragrance is Brazilian roasted coffee with pink pepper and birch tar, very dark, sophisticated, enigmatic, very professional smelling as well. There is currently a promotion going on at the website. I'm gonna leave all of the information for it down below. Make sure to take advantage while that promotion is still valid. If you buy one, you get 20% off. You buy two, 30% off. Four, uh, three, you get 40% off. You know the drill. So you can get up to 50% off. So definitely check it out. Let's go ahead and dive into the list. I'm excited to share these selections with you and the fragrance in the number 10 spot. And by the way, this is all dependent on my mood, but the reason why I put this in the number 10 spot is because I actually think it's good, not just for the autumn, but for the winter as well. This one is called Exalt Nuit. And this fragrance was made in collaboration with Big Beard Business. This has two types of tobacco in it. There's cocoa, there's cinnamon, ultra dark, sexy, refined, a little mysterious as well. Really amazing fragrance, Exalt Nui by Navitus Parfum. Definitely one of the darker versions from the brand, if not the darkest one in the entire collection. The next fragrance I actually find to be pretty versatile, but there is amber wood and vanilla in the base, in addition to that bright, refreshing, and fruity introduction, which contains not only bergamot, but pineapple. This one is called Viva More. So it's a really nice contrast between the fresh and the fruity, and then the sweet and the woodsy in the base. This is also one of the most compliment getting fragrances from Navitus Parfum. This, Primas, probably Soleil Matan, and Navus are so easy to wear, so refreshing, but this really takes it to a whole new level with that amber wood in the base. I think it's gorgeous. The next fragrance on this list is one that I directly worked on, and this one composed by Jorge Lee is called Arcanum. Now, Arcanum means night or secret, and this is a very daring, resinous, coconut, incense -y type of a fragrance. Very warm and sensual as well, fantastic for the colder weather. And then the fragrance after that is Virtus. This one was composed by Bertrand du Chafour, who also did Jubilation 25 by Amouage, Incense Avignon by Comme de Garçon, part of the Incense series. This has honey, fig milk, a little bit of a coconut vibe, beeswax absolute. It's a beautiful, fruity, sweet, tobacco, honey type of a fragrance. When I think of fall, this is one of the first fragrances that comes to mind, Virtus, which by the way means strength. The next fragrance I wanna talk about is a collaboration with CJ City TV. This is Creme Imperial. This has cinnamon, plum, and iris. Smooth, sexy, seductive. It has a warm characteristic about it. I've actually worn quite a bit of this. And this one, in addition to Champagne Royale, are his two offerings. Champagne Royale, a little bit on the fresh side. Winter uh, is probably not the time to be wearing that one. This one, fall and winter, absolutely perfect. The iris is sensual. The plum gives it just the right amount of sweetness and fruitiness. A very deep, 
warm and really intoxicating fragrance. The next one that I want to talk about is another fragrance in collaboration with Big Beard Business, and this is Soir Exclusive. This is coffee and marshmallow with a touch of licorice. Absolutely delicious, such a great fragrance. And it's a type of fragrance that conveys a certain element of warmth. And whenever I think about the colder weather, especially as it starts to get really chilly and then the leaves start to change colors and they fall, and I think about staying inside the house, cup of hot cocoa, sitting in front of the fireplace, listening to some uh, classical music perhaps, if that's your thing, this is the type of fragrance that is so cozy. The next fragrance is made in collaboration with Chaos Fragrances. The creative director for this one is Dallas Dudra, and this one is called Revnui. Now this has a whipped citrus cream accord in the opening. So it's sweet, but it's also very fresh and citrusy. There's Madagascan vanilla in the base. There's cypress in here. There's labdanum. It's a very complex fragrance, super long lasting as well. Perfect if you're looking for something for the autumn. He actually also worked on another one that was composed by Francis Kirkjohn and Jerome de Marino called Soleil Matan. That one is a very bright citrusy ginger fragrance. That one is good for the hotter weather, but this is awesome for the autumn. Now we're getting to the red bottles, so you know we mean business. I know we already did Soir Exclusif, but this one was a collaboration with Darian from uh, you know Darien Hill Bowtie Fragrance Guide. This one is called Serenade. So this one is honey, cognac, and chocolate. <laughs> if that doesn't sell it, I don't know what else to say. Absolutely amazing. The name is amazing. Serenade, a very romantic, sensual, illustrious type of a fragrance. He did such a remarkable job with this one. I truly love it. And then, you know, we are getting into gourmands. I mentioned the chocolate with this one, but I also want to talk about a fragrance where the creative director is Monica Choch, and this one is called The Embrace. This fragrance was made by Sidonie Lancaster, who has done many of my favorite niche fragrances. This one is coffee, Indian sesame absolute. It's so creamy and nutty and sultry and delicious and Honestly, this is one of the best gourmand fragrances I have ever smelled. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the founding creative director for Navitus Parfum. I'm saying that because of all of the fragrances that I have smelled that are gourmand leaning, this is super unique, smells like nothing else I've ever put my nose on, and she did such an incredible job. Now, the next fragrance also reminds me of the autumn, just like Virtus, just like many of the other ones here, Soir Exclusive. And the next one is one that I directly worked on and I didn't put it in the number one spot because I worked on it. I put it in the number one spot because I think it embodies a lot of the things that I think about when I think about autumn. It's green, it's a little, it has the oak moss in the base, it has cinnamon, it has almond, it has some spicy characteristics, a little bit of saffron. This one composed by Bertrand du Chafour, one of my favorite perfumers of all time, is called Absolutio. The name means mercy or perfection, and this is a beautiful, I'd like to call it a demi-gourmand, where it has those green and refreshing elements, but it also has the coffee, the caramel, the toffee, the cinnamon, the vanilla, the cherry vibe that is established in this is absolutely incredible. I love Absolutio, and one thing that I will mention is that I've actually been wearing this in the autumn for the past two years. So ever since I started wearing this one in 2019, I absolutely fell in love with it. And so it's just routine at this point. I'm going to be wearing this a whole lot in the autumn of 2021. And with that, I would like to close and say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took some value from this video. I hope my descriptions of these fragrances help to uh, create a mental image for you at least of what these fragrances smell like. And I also hope that by maybe some of my descriptions you feel compelled to sample some of these. They are available on a number of different websites. I'm gonna leave links down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. If you took something of value from this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. I love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.